any uh, any discussion of parasites uh, should start with uh, some realization that parasites occur everywhere. You can see on the screen here a whole range of different parasites. What we find is that about in any ecosystem, about 50% of all the diversity is in fact parasitic. Every fish you catch will have a, a whole range of different parasites, from isopods that are on the gills or the skin, flatworms on the fins, worms in the guts, uh, other things in the flesh. So there's a whole range of different parasites every fish can have. But moving into muscle liquefying parasites, which is a group I'm particularly interested in, you can see here this is a fillet of a long-tailed chow, actually caught in Western Australia, and peppered throughout with all these little white cysts. And once the fish is dead, uh, they release enzymes which break down the proteins in the muscle, liquefy the flesh, which is not a great outcome when you've uh, pulled in a nice uh, tuna or a snapper or something and it falls to pieces in the pan when you're trying to cook it. And the more we look, the more we're finding. This is uh, the local butterbrim. You find these all over southeast Queensland. Here's a section through the muscle of the butterbrim. And all these slightly darker, granular looking bits are cysts of one of these parasites in the muscle. The fascinating thing about this is that uh, in Ernie Grant, which is the Fisherman's Guide to Fishers, in his book he said they're quite a good panfish provided they're protected from the sun's heat, otherwise the flesh becomes mushy and mud like our research has shown that there's about 75% of these uh, butterbrim are infected with that parasite, and that's the reason why their flesh becomes mushy and butter-like. Talk about size, to give you some sort of reference point here, this is the width of a human hair, it's about one-tenth of a millimetre thick, and across it there are 12 of these spores of uh, these muscle liquefying parasites. The students in my group, I have uh, postgraduate students working with me, will likely go on to work with Aquatic Animal Health in Australia and those people are responsible for biosecurity. For example, if we had an exotic parasite come in with uh, an import of fish that can have this kind of impact on our local fishery or aquaculture, then it would have massive impacts on, uh, on the, uh, those commercial ventures.